Hey, what's up my Uplifting Life partners? This is Ron Simplified Myers. For those of you that this is your first time to uh, hear me, I am the author of the book, The Relationship Success Handbook, Get Rid of Your Problems, Not Your Partner. Now, I'm actually over in Norwalk, California, and today I decided I wanted to talk about this topic of dating. Um, what is dating? Because I'm hearing all these people teaching, you know, again, the gurus, uh, the people that are relationship experts, um, teaching people things to say, what not to say, looking for signs, um, you know, all the different things. To me, teaching you how to manipulate a relationship. To me, you'll know when it's right. You'll, you can't say, and it's something I heard a long time ago, you can't say the wrong thing to the right person, the right thing to the wrong person. If it's the right person, I don't have to have a script. I don't have to be smooth. I don't have to change. I don't have to. That's what you're looking for. Someone who accepts you. As you guys know, I say there are two keys to relationships. One, accept people just as they are. And number two is communication. And accepting people as they are doesn't mean I agree with what you do. It just means I accept that we come from different backgrounds, different beliefs, different uh, morals, different, um, you know, uh, ways that we see the world and that's okay i accept that now if i don't agree with it that's why i number the other part that i talk about which is communication comes into play so we'll communicate so that i understand you guys see the difference because i hear people all the time saying communication is most important i said couldn't i communicate with you but not accept you as you are and we have problems and of course we know the answer is yes but if i accept you as you are i come into the conversation saying I know we're different. I know we see the world differently. And I accept that. But let me see why you think and believe the way you do and then vice versa. You give me that same kind of respect. Um, so anyway, the dating thing. I teach and I believe, and I actually have that in the book. I believe a date is anytime you set an appointment with someone and you hold that to be true. An example, yesterday, Thanksgiving, my family all agreed to meet at two o'clock at my cousin's house. That is a date. Yeah, it was a bunch of people there. It's still a date. You set a date, we arrive. If you do that with an individual, one-on-one, -on -one, it's still a date. A date is any time you set a time period with another individual and you make that happen. Dating is when you start doing it with that particular individual more than once we continue to date which means we are dating you guys follow that we dated now we're dating the mistake is people keep adding intimacy which means beyond the friend zone beyond um just hanging out whatever you however you classify it intimacy has has nothing to do with date and dating that's why i said meeting family for thanksgiving it's a date that has nothing to do with as the world everybody keeps talking about is trying to make it into sex because that's really what people are, are, are especially most of these um gurus and experts are talking about because everything i hear they like well this is how you know if she's interested and let's see if we can teach you how to take it to the next level so you can get her in bed and you know all this kind of stuff folks that's start using this and quit using your pants and letting your pants be your thought process i agree you can use all the techniques that all these people are teaching if all you want to do is date and play around and, and just sleep around cool use all the techniques and learn all that stuff if you're looking to be with as everybody calls the one or mr right or mrs right or whatever the case may be stop playing games and you don't need to learn scripts you don't need all the other stuff that people are teaching you need to just be you and find a person who likes you as you are and then we can move forward that's the purpose in date team is to find that individual because the more i date then i get to find that person with no uh uh coming into the to, to the date with hidden agendas that's a major issue in our society we I've had friends I go out with and we just go out. We hang out. We may go to a uh, a movie. We may go to a, uh, 
I was, I was thinking of conferences, you know, some kind of event, speaking event, uh, motivational, you know, there's stuff like that, that are ladies. And there's no intimacy there, none that was meant to. And they're friends. That's okay. That's how you find the right partner. If you're looking for Mr. Right, Mrs. Right, or the one. It's not by trying to figure out how you can manipulate someone to get them into bed and then we can figure out where this is going. Um, you guys might have heard me say it in another video where a young lady was saying uh, she got this uh, gentleman. It was on the Steve Harvey, uh, one of his shows. She made the comment that she met a Lyft driver, uh, went to bed with him basically the same night. I mean, they text each other. He dropped her off at a party. She was texting. They were texting each other back and forth throughout the party. And she's like, uh, are you going to be in the area when the party's over? He said, I'll make sure I pick you up and I'll give you a ride for free. Well, he did. They, they, they went to bed that night. Now here it is two weeks later and she wants to get in, uh, take it a step further. And she's wondering, did she already mess it up? Folks, um, and again, I talk about this all the time. Quit using sex. First off, let's back up. Learn to value. I just did a, a video on the 90-day rule. Um, those of you, if you haven't had a chance to watch that, please go watch that. That, that kind of gives my perspective on uh, this stuff that we're kind of talking about here, about relationships. Um, quit. Learn to value yourself. And when you do that, you quit letting sex make your decisions for you. And then she wouldn't be having this conversation on, can I go further with this guy? Because if you value yourself, you're not just going to bed with just anyone. Folks, and I know this is a different conversation coming from a guy. I'm like that. I'm not just going with just anyone. It's just not happening. Um, I don't care how interested you are, how sexy you are. If, if I'm not on that wave with you where I'm looking for an intimate relationship with you, it's not happening. Folks, I'm past the game stage. I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to try to outsmart you. I'm not here to try to manipulate you. Ron is who he is. Accept him as he is or you don't. That's your choice. So the young lady I get in a relationship with, folks, I'm going to be straightforward with you. Uh, my wife passed away five years ago. I haven't dated since. This is not a bragging. This is not a I'm going through any emotional traumas. None of that. None of that holds true. When the young lady shows up, I'll be ready because I'm open. I'm, I'm, I'm ready for a relationship. Um, I, I told my mom, uh, she had asked me, how long do I think I would wait before I dated? And, and this was like the first week after my wife had passed. I told her, I said, if she shows up this week, I'm ready, which kind of shocked her. She's like, you, you can't date that fast. And I'm saying, I can. And the reason I say that, folks, because I had no regrets in my marriage. None at all. None, zero, zilch. I was always there for my wife. My wife even told me um, the day, it was either the day before or two days before she passed away. She's like, dear, you need a helpmate and you have my blessings. So my wife set me free. So that was, that's not even hanging over my head. It's just, I'm past, like I tell you, I, I, I played the, uh, the, the games before my wife trying to be the man, dating all these different women, you know, and, and, and trying to, you know, sleep around as the world teach you because it's, it's a man or because we can't control it and, um, I've been through all that and I went through the committed stage folks. I love the committed stage. So I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to manipulate. And that's why I think the stuff that I teach and what I'm sharing is going to be more authentic than the stuff that you're going to hear out there because see people are trying to teach you how to manipulate. I'm going to be straightforward with you because that's why I'm not in a relationship at this point because I'm not here to play games. I'm not here to manipulate. I'm not here to outsmart you. I'm not here trying to figure out, well, what should I say in this? This is Ron. This is me. I'm looking for the lady that comes in and say, I like him just the way he is. And I say the same thing about her. We can work all that other stuff out. Um, as you guys know, I keep telling you, the keys to relationships is character and integrity. Character and integrity. Find those two. We can get all the exterior stuff that the world keeps trying to make you believe is important. We can get all those things together. Find a person with character and integrity because that's the most important thing. So anyway, that's kind of why I wanted to share this video about the date dating. Folks, learn to value yourself. Go from the date because 
And the reason, again, I stress this day thing, too many people are, are missing out, majority of people are missing out on the opportunity to truly enjoy this journey we call life. You're missing it. Because every date, it's turned into an interview to see if this is Mrs. Wright or we're trying to get her in bed. Or, I mean, I don't get it. Why can't we just go out and be with other people as human beings and just enjoy life and then see where those go if it turns into dating, where we start going on multiple dates, and if it moves into intimacy. Folks, if you take this to heart, and you start living that kind of life and quit worrying about the world just because you went out with someone and they think, oh, you're dating her or you're dating him. No, that's a friend. And that's the way it should start. I keep hearing people all the time, learn how to go from the friend zone to the, to the, to the boyfriend, girlfriend, or, or intimate stage. And you'll know when you're ready to go to that stage. Start off in the friend zone. The best relationships are the ones that start in the friend zone and grow into intimacy. And as you guys know, it ain't right, it ain't wrong. It is my opinion. If you had the, haven't had the opportunity to watch my videos, run over to ronsuchannel.com. That's the letter U, ronsuchannel.com. Uh, please subscribe to the website, leave comments on my videos. If there's a certain topic that you'd like for me to talk on, please share that also. I enjoy doing videos, I enjoy sharing input with people. Um, hopefully, uh, you guys can take some of the stuff and it, and, it, and it moves your life in a direction that you want. Because as you guys know, I believe there's no one that's supposed to be your coach. You are your best coach. But first, I got to get you to understand your value, your worth. And then the rest of the stuff takes care of itself. So as you guys know, if you're not having fun, you should be doing something else. Learn to date. Take that to date team. And then we can decide if intimacy is next. I'll talk to you guys later. Take care. Bye-bye.